Hi guys, welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 3, and I'm not gonna do what I did yesterday, so don't worry about that. I am so sorry about that, really I am. I just, holy cow. <laughs> That's like the most comments I've ever gotten on one video in a day. So I'm still getting them now, I think I must be up to 26 now. Uh, it's, sorry, I have my buttons mixed up there. And I almost got on the most disgust, I had that many, it was ridiculous. <laughs> But yeah, I was just like, wow, I was pretty surprised. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking, I was just desperate for a new idea, so... Well, can we kill at least one of these in this... Yeah, there we go. This stage might not be as bad as I remember, I don't know, I just remember those monsters at the beginning are a real pain in the arse. And then of course you got these things here, it's like, what the hell? <laughs> Yeah, so yesterday I actually tried to do a desktop tower defense LP. I thought I would actually, like, record just the whole thing at one time and split it up, but... So I did it, I recorded the entire commentary, and I went through the game in like an hour and four minutes. But... the, vi the And the commentary came out fine, but the video turned out like crap, so... Like, oh well, too bad. It was all garbagey, which, you know, when people say that, it just... I couldn't even actually get it to play. It was an Abbey file, but for some reason it didn't want to play, so... So I tried to convert it, but that didn't do much good. Actually, it did, but then what came out was like a half a second long, just the first half second of the video. So, oh well. Too bad. I'll try it again some other time and just do a half hour at a time, probably. But... Because yeah, I, I, I sucked at it anyway. I don't know who plays desktop tower defense around here, but in the video yesterday... I got all the way to level 84 without losing a life, and then I lost three of them. Three of the flying enemies got, uh, got through my defense. And then I had myself all ready for level 91, and like I used two snap towers. One was upgraded to level 5 and one to level 4, and still they got through. Normally I can get through with just one level 5 tower, and I used two of them. It's because it was a really bad setup. They all came down the left side and the bottom side, which is way out of range. Okay. Oh, alright, there he goes. <laughs> No, I knew he was going to do that, actually. Um, I could use my weapon, but I just want to try that. Oh, well. You don't want to get hit by that um, thing that sticks out of his head, because it does, like, 12 damage, so... Oh, well, there we go. I guess we might as well go ahead and start getting jiggy with it here. Haha. -ha. Bounced off the wall and hit you in the ass. That's the only problem. If you miss with this, that thing will start bouncing all over the screen. There we go. <laughs> Check out that jump I just did. That's a little thing that happens in the game sometimes. Well, that takes care of all eight robots. Now we get to do these infamous dock robot stages that I keep talking about. And by dock robot, I'm not talking about Back to the Future here. Now, I don't know how they even came to have the name dock robot, because that name is never actually explicitly mentioned in the game, so... Oh, let's see. So, Snake Man, Hard Man, Top Man, and Mega Man go away. And now Spark Man, Needle Man, Gemini Man, and Shadow Man come through. So we'll go ahead and do Needle Man. Again. I forgot to mention it, but you might have seen some things buried in the ground that look like hard hats in that stage. Well, we're going to be seeing them in this version of the stage. It's basically the same stage again, but it's kind of revamped a little bit. And it's a lot harder. Well, not so far, but... Yeah. Spike. So there's your first sign that something's not good. This is pretty much the same here, except it's a little different. Get two of them touching each other here. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, man, I screwed up the pattern on these. Uh, I came in at the wrong time. Okay. And you almost have to use Rush Coil. Well, you do have to use Rush Coil to get through these. You know what? I'm actually going to get that. Wait. Oh, my timing was off. That's okay. I'm still better off than I was. Well, maybe. My two or three bars now. He's got really bad reception here. You're dead. Oh, well, you need to bring back out Rush Coil again. What the heck? Rush Jet in this game is, like, really easy to use. Because all you gotta do is bring him out. You know what? I'm actually gonna use him now. As you bring him out, you can pretty much go anywhere you want to with him. Until he runs out of energy. In the, in the following games, he just went forward, and that was it. That was the only direction he would go. This one, you can just move him around all you want to. So it kind of breaks the game a little bit. But, of course, you can still run out of energy. Now, these fights. There's Airman. But this is what he does. He goes into Dock Robot, and you fight the Dock Robot with Airman's attack pattern, basically. But it's 
not quite the same as Mega Man 2. It's a little bit different. I believe needles work on this, but I'm not totally sure. No, they don't. Okay. I'll we'll just keep trying some stuff here. Uh, I don't think it might be Spark Man, actually. Let's find out here. Yeah. It's pretty much exact. Yeah, it is Spark Man. It's like exactly the same pattern that he had in the Mega Man 2. Um. Crap. That's not a good setup right there. Oh, thank God that got to him. <laughs> now you go on in the stage. Yes, the two bosses in each stage. How about that? Okay, we're ready. We be ready. Oh, I guess you have to use Rough Jet here, don't you? Alright, let's do it. A lot of pushing start in this one going into the subscreen. What do we got? Six minutes? Wow. Well, I did do Needleman's stage first. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and refill here. Man. Here, get down here, okay. You can actually kind of sort of make this jump and, yeah, him go under it. I'm gonna go pick that up, too. Ugh. This part isn't really too bad, it's just crowded, that's all. Oh, wait, wait, here. This is how you do this right here, jump up here. Well, actually, that might be too high. And then just slide through and land on him again. Crap. That skeeter's gonna get in my way. Oh, man, I thought he had me. Oh, yeah. Well, that was fun. So up we go. Since I got him down, I'll just go ahead and use him for this. What the hey? <laughs> Where are those hard hats, man? I know I've seen them. I know they're here. Oh. <laughs> okay, you just fall down there, then, if that's what you want to do. Here he comes. Oh, my God. Holy crap, that thing is huge. Oh, yeah, no problem. I don't remember those being that easy. You can actually use Shadow Blades on them, and they're even more effective than the Arm Cannon, but... You know, if you just want to get them done and over with as quickly as possible. Why, you're still here? Why are you still here? Why are you still here? You told me you were going to leave town. Why are you still here? Now, John, don't get upset. I'm just... Whatever. So if I called her right now, that's what she would tell me. The phone's right over there, John. Okay, what's her number? Boom! Oh, sorry. If you know what I'm imitating there, you know that that's a very intense moment in the Lost series. Just before John Locke gets pushed out an eight-story window, only to survive. That's another thing he survives in that series. Man, I wasn't even thinking about that yesterday. The character John Locke, he survives just everything. He gets shot in the head, he burns his foot. Let's try and needle I don't. I have no idea what the weaknesses are, so I'm gonna... Well, that did two damage. Tell me it's not a hard knuckle. Because I'm never going to be able to hit him with that thing. But we got... It is a hard knuckle. Man, that did more than four damage. Okay, yeah, that's right. You can just jump and he'll jump into it. Just like before. Oh, dear me. Dude, you're going to kill me now, aren't you? No, you're not. That was too close, man. Let me tell you. I'm debating whether or not to stop the video here. Um, I think I'm going to keep going. Okay, we'll do Shadow Man now. I wanted to do Spark Man, but I wanted to do Shadow Man. I don't know. I guess it doesn't really make a difference, because you don't get these weapons, you just have to fight them. What was that one I just fought? That was Crash Man. Yeah, okay. Air Man and Crash Man. Interestingly enough, one is weak against the other. I don't know if that's always how it is. You can see this stage is already way worse than it used to be. With all these spike jumps and spike gauntlets and spikes between ladders and ladders between spikes and... Yeah, you don't have any Proto Man fights in these stages, though. That's good. I'm out of here. I'm not gonna play these games at your ass. I say your ass too much. <laughs> it's like in school one time, these two um, these two kids got to an argument. The argument started with one of them saying "Yo, mama," and then the other one said "Yo, daddy," and then the first one said "Yo, brother," and then the third, and then the other one said "Yo, sister," and then finally the other one just responded "You." Oh, oh man, this thing is really lagging. Ooh. There's a little bit of a delay. You can actually walk on those platforms even after they're splitting apart. But there's not much time. You don't want to take advantage of it too much. And wait for that thing to get by and we're okay. No problem. Man, I'm almost up to 11 minutes. Let's see what's down here, but I'm going to have to stop after that. Oh, okay, we're up to the first boss. Alright. There ain't no way I got no time to do that now. I have no idea which boss. I'm not going to... I have no idea which boss is in this room, but okay. Anyway, 
So, I'll see you next time on Let's Play Mega Man 3. Thanks for watching, and have a good day, y'all.